America Tunisia Mohammed Danielle Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the f You used me! Hello, hello, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today, I feel like talking about Danielle and Mohammed. I really miss this couple a lot because I do enjoy them a lot. So, let's get into it. Me and Mohammed got married about two weeks ago, and everything was going good up until they came and shut off the electric because we got behind on the bills. Then Mohammed just left, and he didn't come back. I didn't even know where he was at. He leaves me. He's leaving three girls that love and care about him. That's a whole family he's affecting. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I could not... <laughs> You could not put some glasses on if you want us to take you seriously. But I do feel bad for her for him leaving. But then again, why bring the, the children into this? They're, he's not their daddy. He's just a random stranger. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad for laughing too. Okay, I know I'm no longer laughing. In all seriousness, like... <laughs> He just, they just got married in the last video reaction that I made. They literally just got married. And two weeks from there, she she had money issues and she couldn't pay her, her bills. And <laughs> he just left. <laughs> he just left for the, like two weeks. I expected hmm, maybe it would, he would last at least three months because I heard he left after marriage. But two weeks, that's crazy. So I wanted to talk with you guys to see how you're feeling about what's happened this past week. Do you think he has a right to be mad? He's allowed to be upset, but it's not fair that he gets to run off. We All of us have to deal with it, but he can't. It's like he's weak. You know what's sad? It's one thing to have electricity and internet shot, but it's another thing to have no internet, no electricity, and all you hear is... <laughs> Mohammed left me yeah. and crying, constant crying in the house. Like that would, that's depressing. Just hearing her cry, I, honestly, I'm a viewer. It makes me laugh. <laughs> anyway, let's keep watching. I don't really care if he comes or goes. If my mom asked me what she should do, I would just tell her, give him a week. And if he doesn't come back, just let him go. I feel like his plan was to get married and then leave and just live somewhere else with do whatever he wants, really. He just needed her to like get here. This is the only show where all the children are way way smarter and have way more brain cell brain brain <laughs> the Arab in me came out oops have way more brain cells than the parents. I'm here, my sister. Where you at? In the living room. So what the bejeebus is going on? He left and hasn't been back. I mean, what are you going to do, like, if he doesn't come back? Like, I'm hoping he comes back because it's not right that he took off like that. He should come back. He had went to the wedding with doubts, and I feel like now he has found the excuses to go. Oh, wow. See, and, and oh, <laughs> all, all the time I say, eh, Muhammad didn't scam Danielle, she scammed herself. But she's way, way too naive. I mean, I always say in my videos, if you give a man 90 days, he will show his true colors at 90 days and one. And this is, this is exactly why I don't believe in probation. Because people in probation, they don't say, oh, I did a crime, I cannot do it ever again. They say, oh, I'm in probation. If I do it again, I will go to jail. So they wait until the end of probation and they do the exact same thing so probation never really helped anyone and it's it's the same concept i don't see him sticking around <laughs> i mean if he doesn't come back it will be okay we all love you you have to prepare for that reality if he decided i did not sign up for this i want i'm done i want him here <laughs> i need him here <laughs> he makes me a better person I did not sign up for this season to just hear Danielle cry. Literally every single episode she cries. I do feel bad for her. Trust me, I do. But you can clearly see the issue here. She said, I want him here. I need him here. 
he makes me perfect or whatever she said whatever she said something and it shows her lack of self-esteem and self-worth she doesn't know who she really is she needs him to validate herself and to make herself look better oh look i hooked up with this attractive man or i married this very attractive man a uh, spoiler alert is not but i'm just saying it for the sake of narrative i ma- i married this attractive man and we're together hey guess what i can hook up with an attractive man i'm very attractive Woo-hoo. Anyway, let's just let's skip the cry. Let's watch something entertaining. It's 90 days. I'm gonna be watching him like a hawk. I'm very, very worried that you're gonna end up scamming my mom. My opinion, Mohammed doesn't love my mom. Right now, everything's pointing to, oh my god, this is a disaster waiting to blow up. The way she's shoving herself in uh, in his shoulder reminds me of Nicole. Now, I don't like c- making the comparison, but you cannot tell me that it does not remind you of Nicole and the way she would shove her, I was, I was gonna say bubble head in Hassan. Anyway, let's just keep watching. Mohammed, why do you think they're so concerned? In that time, I mean, people when they was talking, in that time, they don't even know me. They, they, they didn't talk to me. They didn't ask me even any question true and i feel like that's danielle's fault she should have 100 percent introduced him to the family while he was in tunisia this way they at least know something about him and can tell like he could skype them he could he could talk to them online or whatever but she should have at least if not the distant family at least her daughters and her son what about your family we don't hear a lot about your family we didn't see them what do they think yeah. about you moving across the world okay for about a woman family, they haven't met they was against that from the beginning why were they against yeah, because it because they was like shocked why you have to do this? Why? And your answer was? My answer was green card. I love green card. I went to America to get a green card. My answer was, it's my life. It's my life. But why did you want to do it? You know, I, I'm not that kind of person who can't stay in the same place, always doing the same thing. A part of me believes him, especially now that we know that he's a truck driver and he from the listen, watching the season and seeing him want to try literally everything whenever someone throws something at Muhammad. Hey Muhammad, wanna go hunting? Muhammad like, yes, let's go hunting. Hey Muhammad, wanna go have a beer in a bar? Yes, let's go have a beer in a bar. Hey Muhammad, wanna Okay, that was a bad joke. Hey Muhammad <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he literally tries everything. So I feel like that's a little bit truthful. No, it is not a bad joke. I'll just say it anyway. Daniel be like, hey, Mohammed, wanna, wanna have sex with me tonight? <laughs> I'll even put the one. <laughs> <laughs> and even put the pink underwear that you like, Muhammad. No, it's Ramadan, PP. Ramadan for Muhammad lasts a year. Muhammad, <laughs> Muhammad has an eternal Ramadan. Anyway, let's just keep watching. I like trying new things. But is this about change this relationship, or this was about no, not love and a person no, that no, you no, want to no. be with? To be honest, it wasn't like a hundred percent love from the beginning because we. It was a fifty-five percent, and I keep making this comparison, but it's literally like what you're expecting me not to say fifty-five percent. Just met, eleven days, and we was like trying to make it like big love, you know, but we can say like forty-six, forty-sixty. 40, 60, what? Yeah, for, 40, 60, 40 for like going, trying something new and 60 for just being like with someone and trying to be stable and... Yo, Danielle is a whole 5% above Nicole. Nicole, you should be insulted. That is a huge, huge disrespect to Nicole. I feel, <laughs> I feel bad. What the hell? He's 60%. Okay, okay. Jokes aside, jokes aside. I mean, 50%, uh, 60% of uh, love, that's a lot. And 40% of trying to experiment and trying to visit America. I mean, that's a subtle way of saying, I want to visit America. And 40% visit in America and 60% being with Daniel and I feel like he was being way too generous with the number he gave Daniel if I had to guess I'd say it's 10% Daniel and 90% America Daniel when you were hiding your sort of burrowing your head there into Muhammad's shoulder what was because that? this has been a big issue on the social media that people don't think he loves me what was an issue for your family and for my family yeah but why why love here it's only like kissing and hugging and that stuff Oh, this is a prob. This is probably an unpopular opinion, but on this tell all, Danielle looked a lot better. I think it it's the best that she looked ever on this show, and it shows that some little work, some little fixing, can make someone look a lot better. So if she just worked on her 
on herself other than just chasing a man maybe she would have found something more meaningful and something more long term something really she something that is you know what i mean like a healthy anyway skip skip the constructive criticism let's keep watching love is bigger than that it's not just it's hack someone because mind. even maybe the, some people they use like the word i love you like it's like seem like they're saying hi Muhammad with the cheap skate tactic. A lot of people say love, but they don't really mean it. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say I love you, and I'm gonna save up on the cooling and the heating and the electricity. I don't know. His logic is if people say I love you and they don't mean it. I'm not gonna say it. This way you can tell if I mean it or not. And the second thing is, you can see how charismatic he is and how he can like present himself. And I think that was one of his selling points and that's how he landed Daniel to begin with and that's how he could have probably easily manipulated her because he's charismatic. He can sell sand to a Middle Eastern probably. Lie. If someone, I don't, I don't mean that it's not love and no. If someone else is just gonna say, okay, yes, it's only about love. But for me, that's how I am. Okay, so he's pretty much saying, Danielle, I don't love you. I went through this whole process for the thrill, for the experience, for trying something new. And you can see that Danielle, she's hiding his, her face in his shoulder. And Loki, I think she realizes that that's exactly what he's saying, but she's trying to hide from reality. So Danielle, if you come at me in the future episode crying, you used me. I'm just going to tell you, lady, you used yourself final episode of the season mm -hmm. we see you leaving Danielle's apartment yeah did you move out no it was like for like a couple days because I just went like for a couple days in a hotel did you know where he was Danielle not at the beginning so they're talking about him when he left, uh, when the electricity went out and when the internet went out. He left the house, he never came back. He was like, I'm going to get some milk, never to be seen again. I've been told you went to a friend of yours. Was a friend. No longer a friend. No. Why? She was trying to get Muhammad to leave me. She was. She'll leave you for her? Mm-hmm. That's wrong. She only tried to help me that five days I, I'm, I, I wasn't at home. That's it. Help you why? I mean, there are plenty of homeless people she could have helped in the States. I don't think Ohio is running out of people without a home that she could have helped. Guess what? Oh, wait, wait. My question is, did you tell her it was Ramadan or did you do the deed with her? I don't think you told her it was Ramadan. Anyway, that's it for this video. It was a little random, little strange. Daniel Mohammed. I'm waiting to get to the part of you use me, Mohammed. You use me to get that. And I forgot what she said. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like these. And thank you for all the new subscribers. I don't think I'll be getting any calls back from that with this sub count. But hey, it's something. Anyway, thank you so much. Peace. Why are you so stretched? <laughs>